Um, let's just start with um, a triangle here. Yeah. And uh, let's let's say that I'd give you um, this side is uh, is eight and this side is ten. What what is uh, how do you find C? Well, what we do eight squared plus ten squared equals C squared, and then we solve for C. <laughs> And it's 60, it's 164 equals C squared. And I don't know if that's a perfect number. It's not. So how do you reduce that? How do you do reduce? Oh, you take square root of both of them. And then, so it'd be like. Give, give me the, give me the reduced number. Okay. So. That's, that is critical here that you can do that. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me one sec. What are you getting there? So why would we? I don't understand. Why wouldn't we have that? If you're just sitting there playing video games. Yeah. Okay. So there's an issue, right? Yeah. But uh, there'll be no more computer. Yes, pencil doesn't even work. Great. All right, sorry about that. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's get back on track here. So I'm asking you to yeah. reduce the uh, square root of 164. It's not a perfect square. It does require you to do a bit of work here. Um, so, two root 41 is what I got. Uh, say that again. Two root. two root 41. Okay, so this is two and 82. And then like you said, two and 41. So yeah, that's that's absolutely correct. Yeah. Now, now there's a ton of variations on this, this problem. We're gonna do some of the numerical ones and then we'll get to the more difficult ones. If I could just get the screen to go down. Why I'm having so many issues here. Okay. Um, let me insert some more space. Um, so now, like one of the things that, that you're going to be able to do here that is um, uh, it's more of an advanced technique here is I don't have to give you nice numbers for these. Like I can tell you that this is eight and this is the uh, square root of, um, I don't know, uh, 30. And I want you to find B. Okay. Actually, that that is uh, that is not right. Let me give you another number. Here. That's let's say that's four. So it's still the same thing. It's still four squared plus B squared equals the square root of 30 squared. Okay, so 16 plus B squared equals 30. B squared equals 14. So what does B equal? Um, B equals, uh, B equals just square root of 14. Square root of 14. So let's do another one here. Um, see if I can make the numbers work a little better. This is the this is the square root of seventy two, and this is um, this is going to be uh, we'll go we'll go with six there. And I want you to find a, a this time. Okay. So. We have um, six so Six. It's a, it's a. So six is a. So we have yeah. So we have a is is six again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, now you can even have these problems where the side is a letter. Believe it or not. So let's just say that uh, this is x, and this is two um, x. What is mm -hmm. b? Okay. X squared plus b squared equals two x. Two x squared. So we have x squared plus b squared equals 4x squared. And then b squared equals 3x squared. b equals, and then you can take the square root of this, 3x squared. 
b equals uh, x square root 3 in this particular problem. Okay. Um, How did you get x square root 3, actually? Okay, good. Uh, let's talk about that. So there's this property. Let me not put an equal sign. Property that says the square root of a times b is the square root of a times the square root of b. So if we apply that here, that's the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, the square root of x squared is actually the absolute value of x, believe it or not. Okay, but, mm -hmm. but what, what are we finding here? We're finding the side length of a triangle. Mm -hmm. So this, this, the absolute value of x is defined this way. It's defined as x for x greater than zero, negative x for x less than zero. But since we are using side lengths, we want this one. That's why it becomes just x. So long yeah. explanation, but it's often glossed over by instructors that uh, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x because it does matter in certain situations, um, for example, here. So now we can also mix in here. Like, let's just say, give you a triangle and I say, okay, um, this side is three, this side is x. What is c? Okay. Three squared plus x squared equals c squared. Yeah. Nine plus x squared equals c squared. So when you take the square root of both sides, you get the square root of nine plus x squared. And this is this is correct. This is what you leave it as. Mm, why wouldn't you just say three plus x? Because uh, because that, that that's that re that reduction here is incorrect. Um, nine plus x squared does not factor. It is a sum of squares. Oh. Okay. So you can't do anything with that. You see this in trigonometry later on in the course. I know you're taking, I know you're taking geometry, but what you're doing right now is is trigonometry. Mm -hmm. So let's say this is four and this is x. I want you to find b this time, please. Okay. Hmm. So I got B equals four minus X. Okay, so it sounds like you, you made the same sort of uh, reduction error that, that is not possible. So B, B squared plus X squared equals four squared. Mm -hmm. and, and then B squared plus X squared equals 16. So now we're gonna subtract the X squared. So B squared equals 16 minus X squared. And we're gonna take a square root. B equals the square root of 16 minus X squared. And oh, I just, I just, what I did is I took the square root of X squared plus B squared equals 16. You, you can't do that. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's an impossibility. So, so if we, if we need to explain that, um, we can do that. Like what you're trying to do is say the square root of a squared plus B squared equals A plus B. And let's see if that ever actually works, okay? okay. Let's say A is zero and B is zero. Is the square root of zero squared plus zero squared equal to zero plus zero? Yes. Yeah. Now let's try it for um, A equals zero and B equals one. Let me know if that's true or false for that one. It's, it's true. So it works for that one. How about if uh, A is one and B is zero? It still works. So you might start to think, well, man, Matthew, Matthew's crazy because this always works because I've tried three times and it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The answer is that it works for these cases that I provided for you because in all of them, the, um, the so far, um, one of these terms goes away. Like if, if A is zero, it goes away. Mm -hmm. um, but now let's try it. Let's try some that, that don't work. Let's say A is zero and B is equal to negative one. Well, negative one squared is one, square root of one is one, but does that equal negative one? No. No. How about if, if A is negative one and B is zero? Well, now, you know, no yeah. and no. Um, so you might... Um, you might think, well, maybe it works for positive numbers. Well, we keep setting one equal to zero. So let's let's look at a real, more realistic case. A equals three, B equals four. Does that work? Is the square root of three squared plus four squared equal to three plus four? Five, no. is that equal to seven? No. 
So now, uh, now there's some, sort of an algebraic approach. Um, what you're trying to do, and then this is a good reminder of, of factoring. There's there's a couple of examples that we can give here. Um, a squared minus b squared equals a minus b, a plus b. Uh -huh. um, a minus b squared. Oops, let me I put the wrong side. A minus b squared equals a minus b times a minus b. Mm -hmm. A squared plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared. There's nothing that can be redone, reduced. Okay. And then lastly, uh, a plus b squared is a plus b, a plus b. So the only time you can reduce one of these is if the square is on the outside of parentheses. Do you, do you follow that? Yes. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so um, let's, let's do another one of these triangle problems here and see if we can get this down. Um, so let's say that this is uh, this is nine, this is uh, uh, x, and I want you to find b, please. Okay. We're finding b or x. B. Okay. I got B equals the square root of X minus 81. Okay, so, uh, so maybe just to, let me just work it out here because I heard something that I'd, I'd want to just confirm here. So you get nine squared plus B squared equals X squared. 81 plus oh, B no, squared. Oh no, X squared minus 81. Okay, so B is the square root of X squared minus 81, is that? Yeah. Okay, so let's let's put that here and let's let's just do a little bit more with this. Let's say um, let's say I wanted you to find the um, the uh, sine of a. Do you remember sine sine cosine tangent? Mm, not really. We did that over really. the summer. Okay, then let's not do that here. Okay, uh, so the, the, uh, you're in you're in this class called geometry, mm -hmm. and and really there's a lot of overlap. Like like if this is if this is geometry, uh, here's trigonometry. Okay, so so you're you there's there's parts of what you're doing that that are actually trigonometry. Okay. Um, actually, that's or that's geometry, and then this is this is this is trigonometry. So there's there's all these there's triangle problems, okay, and and you're and there's there's two types. There's there's right triangles, and then there's there's not right triangles. <laughs> okay, simple. Um, now there, there's all these different right triangles that we can do. One are are um, uh, triples, okay? Another one is um, Pythagorean theorem, okay? And another type of special triangle are these uh, 45, 45, 90, 90, and then 30, 30 60, 60, 90. Yeah, and within each of these, there's just various difficulties. So we've been spending a lot of time in here. I just wanna remind you that there's a bunch of triples that you you should know. And, and there's an infinite number of these but there, there's ones that are sort of, um, you know, more common um, than, than others um, for that. It's 8, 15, 17. There's a whole list of these things. There's people that, you know, spend their whole life trying to search for them. Um, they have sort of this interesting behavior that they always have one even number. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just an aside there. Um, there's not one that has, that's all odds? No. So the, we, we, the, those, those we can talk about, we've just done a bunch here in PAG. Um, these 45, 45, 90, they're, they're super critical that you get. So the, the, the reminder here, 45, 45, 45, 90, it, it comes with what I call a reference triangle. So the reference triangle, and, and, and it's, it's really a reference X. There's a leg, a leg, which are exactly the same, and the hypotenuse. Yeah which is x root two. Two, yep. So there's two types of problems I can give you. I can give you a leg to produce a hypotenuse 
or I can give you a hypotenuse to produce a leg. Okay. Uh, so the 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 only the only the only sort of math step here is is you either you either multiply by square root of two, or you divide by the square root of two. Okay. So let's do let's do a couple here. So let's say I tell you that uh, that this side is, uh, and these are all 45, 45, 90. So I, I, I don't want to keep drawing. Yeah. Down, so. Let's say that um, this side is uh, 14 square root of six. I want I want the hypotenuse C. Okay. So there's two options. You either divide by square root of two or multiply by square root of two, which- or Multiplying by square root of two. Okay. So do that for me and reduce the number, please. Okay. Ah, I'm a little confused. Um, I don't understand how to multiply like 14 root six times root two. Okay. So there is a property of roots, which we've already covered, but I'll remind you square root of a times the square root of b is the square root of a times b. I showed it to you in reverse earlier, but here we're going to the right. We're going this direction. So this is 14 square root of 12. Okay. So now 12 reduces sense. to something and then you, you deal with this 14 out front. Yeah, okay. It's 28 root three. Yeah, because it's two root three. So it's 28 root three. Excellent. Okay, let's try another one here. Let's say I tell you that uh, this side is, um, Four fifths square root of ten. Okay. And I want you to find C. Okay. Ten times twenty to ten to five. So it's Eight fifths square root five. Yes. Great. So these aren't these aren't the most difficult, but we'll go the other direction now. I'll give you the hypotenuse. So I'll tell you that c equals um, uh, c equals twenty, and I want you to find b. Okay. Is it 20 root two over two? Wait, no, 10, it's 10 root two actually. It is 10 root two, exactly, okay. Now these are a little harder to make more difficult, but I'll, I'll try here. Uh, so let's do this. Let's t let me tell you that the hypotenuse here is the um, square root of, uh, uh, let's say 56. And I want you to find B. Okay. Uh, 76 is B. So, so the, uh, the, I guess, let me, so the, okay. This is the first one where I guess I'm gonna jump in here and, and give you some, some so the, the reference triangle is X root two. Yes. So my solution would always be uh, set the known side to the reference side square root of 56 equals x root two. And, and you're solving for x, you're gonna divide both sides by the square root of two. Yes. So, so this is the square root of 28. Now, this is a new property, square root of a over the square root of b equals the square root of a over b equals x. Can this be reduced? I'm a little confused. 56 divided by two is 28. Okay, so there's just, we don't like, multiply both sides by root two. Well, okay, so so you can you can now let, let me, let's 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 talk about that because I think that that's a that's a reasonable thing to say. Okay, square root of two, square root of two. It's not wrong. It's just it it doesn't get you to the answer as quickly as what we just did. Square root of two times the square root of two is the square root of four. What is the square root of four? Oh, uh, two x. 
Two, yeah. So, so now you have the square root of 112 on this side. Okay, now you got to divide it by two. So what I did that wrong, when I multiplied 56 squared to 56 was square root of two, I got square root of 112 over square over two. Well, square this is seven. this is correct, but it's not reduced. Yeah. Okay, but I didn't have that square root sign there. Which but is so what is happened. this. Okay, and this is also not reduced. But but okay, and this is this is big. This is really important when you're doing math problems. It's always better to divide before multiplying, especially by hand. Okay. In a computer, it's totally different. But the reason you divide before multiplying is you get smaller numbers. Would you rather deal with 112 or 28 when you're dealing with numbers yeah. that 28? So that's why it's better to divide here. So um, let's go back to. Oh, I got two root seven. Yeah, two root seven. Perfect. All right, um, so let's do another one here. Uh, let's say that, um, let's say that the hypotenuse is the um, square root of uh, 98, and I want you to find B. Is it just seven? It is. G is seven? It is. Okay. So let's move on to 30, 60, 90 triangles. And the reference triangle is super critical. There's a lot of ways you can draw the reference triangle. What's key here is that there is a short leg. Long leg and a hypotenuse. Long leg and a hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse 30... is 2x. The long leg is x root 3. The short leg is X. X, yep. Now, here's what you often see, though, when you're doing problems. You see a lot of things that are deceptive. And one of them is they'll say, find X. And see, this X has nothing to do with these Xs. These are all what I call reference Xs. Yes. Maybe, maybe there's a better name here, but that's what I call it. But they'll tell you, like, oh, um, this side is, uh, is 20. What's X? Yeah. X is not 20 the X that they want you to find is the 40. hypotenuse is 40. 40. Yeah, it's 40. Good. Okay. Now these, these triangles can be oriented however, however you want. And that can also cause some confusion. Like this could be X now, and this is 30 degrees. So the short legs over here, and they could tell you that this is, um, this is uh, 18. Okay. Well, X is nine or three. It is. Okay, so there, there are three types of problems that you're going to see. Short leg to find the hypotenuse. Well, there's actually more than this, but but the short leg can be used to find the hypotenuse or the and the long leg. The second type of problem you'll get is, and these are in increasing the order of difficulty, hypotenuse to find the short leg to find the long leg. Uh -huh. Actually, let me, let, you cannot go, you, usually you generally don't go, you would go short leg to long leg. And then you can get the long leg, and then you always go short leg, and then to hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the only challenge is like is like things that can be done to let me make this you know deceptive or difficult. Um, so for example, here I can tell you that the uh, hypotenuse in this problem is the uh, square root of eighteen, and I want okay. you to find um, x and y. And and this is this is clever in the sense that like x x is not the reference x and y is is in the wrong place for y maybe and lots of other things so so y is square so y is three and x is three root three uh well okay let me so let me jump in here i'm going to draw the reference triangle yeah so what i always suggest doing is set the known side equal to the reference side Square root of 18 equals 2x. And x really refers to the, the short leg. Yes. So how do, what does the square root of 18 reduce to? It reduces to 3 root 2. OK, so x is really 3 halves square root 2. Why but wouldn't you just take half of 18, which is square root 9, and you get 3? 
Well, what you just said is, is one half of the square root of 18 is nine. It's square root nine. Okay. Um, so how do we, how do I, do you want me to prove this is to you is wrong or, or like, yeah, like, okay. I, just, I just don't know. I just don't understand okay. how that works. Okay. Um, the, let me find some numbers. Is there any numbers that work really well? Um, yeah. So square root of four is two. Yes. One half the square root of four is one half of two, which is one. Do you agree with that? Mm, no. That's what because you just said. Square, you just, no, square root of two is not one though. Well, I, I don't have the square root of two, I have the square root of four. You, you, you want this to be true. But it's, I mean, it's not, but I'm, I'm trying to show you that. So I'm trying to show you, okay. I just, I just, I just don't understand how that's not true. Well, I'm trying to give you some examples here. So, so just okay. follow along here. Square root of four is two. Do yeah. you, are you okay with that? Yes. So if I put a one half on both of these, the square root of four is still two. One half of two is one. Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay. What is the square root of two? Grab your calculator. Oh, it's like 1.43 something. I don't know. Well, if, if what you said is true, then these should be the same. They're not. They're not. So here's another way we can look at it. Um, the If you have square root of A times B, okay, and I already mentioned this is the square root of A times the square root of B. You, you've seen that. You you mm -hmm. want you want this to be a half, okay? You, like you said, well, why isn't it just a half? Um well, let me back up. Maybe that's not, you want A to be a half. Actually, let me just back up here. So yeah, we're going down a rabbit hole here that we don't need to go down. So okay. um, the, the, the one half cannot penetrate inside here. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's, it's impermeable. You just can't like, no, that, that can't happen. Um, okay. So let's, let's go back to this problem here, which is we, we found that that X we found that X, which is the short leg, that's the short leg is here. That means Y is three halves square root of two. Okay. X here, and it's it's almost better to know it in words. It's the short leg times the square root of three. Yeah. So it's just three halves square root of six? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, so let me give you another one here. I'm going to make this one less complicated um, to some extent. Okay, so let's do 30, 60, 90 here again. Uh, this is this is 30, and let's let's say that this is uh, this is the square root of 72. And I'll be find, I want you to find uh, x and then c. Okay. So you just find X and C? Yeah, I want you to find X and C. So I'm trying to be a little okay. bit more um, kind with the letters. Is often the letters uh, are uh, the challenge here. All okay. right. <laughs> Seventy-two times three is two hundred and sixteen, right? Say that one more time. Square root of so, uh, I mean, seventy-two times three. It is, but but remember, you have a reference side that you want to set this equal to. You want to set square root of seventy-two equal to x squared three. Okay, I'm gonna divide both sides by square root three, not multiply. Makes sense. So I would divide, but I, is what I'm trying to get out of here. I mean, yeah, which yeah, yeah. Is fine, but it's square root of seventy-two over three. So it's square root of twenty-four, and then that reduces. So let's do that. Okay. Let's see. Two root six is x. 
X is tiered six. I agree with that. Okay, so that means. So that that is actually this X, and it's the reference X. Yeah. Okay, great. Now C is what? Four root the... six. Or, four yeah, root four root six. six. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, good. All right, let's try another one here. Okay, let's call. Uh, let's go. Um, uh, this is um, ten square root ten. Okay. And I want you to find um, uh, y and x. And this is okay. Five, so y is five square root ten. Okay. Uh, it's just five square root thirty for x. Good. So, so notice it's a lot easier to multiply by the roots. It, yeah. it tends to be it tends to be when they're not reduced and you have to divide that it's more difficult. So that's that's where we're going to spend the bulk of our of our time here on some new problems. So um, let's let's change the orientation a little bit. Uh, let's call this side. Um, this is your thirty side. Let's call this. Um, um, well, I just had I just had some numbers and I lost it. Let's go um, three square root forty eight here, and I want you to find a x and y for me. Okay. And I would strongly recommend setting that equal to the reference, or other the the known side to the reference side. And it's twelve root three is. So x is six root three. What what did you find uh, that this reduces to? Uh, it reduces to twelve root three. Uh, yeah, this this is so this is twelve root three, and the um, the reference oh. side is x root three. So x x equals twelve, but that that's that's really the y. Oh, I'm looking at this wrong. Yeah. There's oh, a lot okay. you can do to really make these harder than they appear because it's 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 a mixture of you have to get comfortable and this takes a lot of time but this is a skill you need to do you know x they, they tell you oh x is a variable well it, it, it's a they, they actually sometimes say this in like calculus class it's a dummy variable meaning you can use any letter you want like if you don't like okay. x change it like i don't want to use x i want to use c i want to use b okay and just remember though that that c is really x and b is really y you can change them you can absolutely change them and that it's it's critical it's just super critical um change of variable is very common in higher higher math classes so uh what i'm trying to get you to see here is that that b is 12 mm -hmm. and then c is c is 24. um the reason b is 12 is because when you set it equal to the reference the to the reference side you get x equals 12. Well, 12 is, when you say x, we're referring to the reference x, the short leg. Yeah. Okay, let's try, let's try that one here. All right, this is uh, 30, and then um, this is the um, uh, square root of 108. And I want you to find uh, x and y. Okay. That's really 2 root 27, so y is 20, 6 root 27, and so that means x is 27 times root of 3, which is really just the square root of 27 times 3, and that means So I got y is square root of 27, and I got... Uh, uh, square root of 27 reduces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to do, do my work then. Because it should be 3 times 9, then 3 times 3, which is 3 root 3. 
there's there's a yeah there, there's uh this 108 is is six root two what now oh 54 reduces again yeah oh okay yeah i, I gotta redo all this give me a sec okay Okay, and then that should be. Okay, so I got three root two is y and then three root six is x. Good. Okay, um, so we can do some things here where we kind of we kind of pair the two together. Uh, this is a, a 30, 60, 90, and this is a, this is a 45, uh, 45, 90. So yeah, Obviously. I had one of these. I've done a few. Well, I did one of these problems Friday. Yeah. So gener generally, you move like from one side to the other, um, and you have to find all the intermediate stuff. Like I could tell you that this is uh, twenty-four, and I want you to find uh, x over here, and uh, we'll just do a couple of these just to see where you're at. So the steps would be, um, you you're get, you've got the hypotenuse here. You you really need to find the short leg. And then use the short leg to find the hypotenuse of this 45, 45, 90. Uh, so give that a try. Oh, X is 12 root 2. It, it is. So this one, this one's pretty, pretty um, boring and easy. Um, I won't be giving this easy again, but um, we'll, uh, we'll 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 do some other ones here. So yeah, let me get rid of those. Um, let's see here. So X, yeah, X is 12 root 2. Okay. Perfect. All right. So let's say that this leg here is um, the square root of um, the square root of 50. I want you to find uh, x. Okay. Um, two. And then. Multiply that by root three, so it's five root six. So five root six times root two is five root twelve, which reduces to two, two, two. Okay, so x is ten root two. So here you should have gotten that this is five root two. Yeah. And then what is the short leg? Um. The short leg. We well, need it's this. It's five root six. Okay, so let's re let's review. Um, the the short leg is x root three is the reference side when we're looking at this triangle. Yes. So you have to divide both sides by root three. Okay. Yeah, I keep screwing that up. I keep multiplying. Well, it's okay to multiply, but then you have to divide. Like like in this case, it actually would be better because. Uh, you would get five squared six equals three x, then you divide by three. Because here you really need to rationalize. And I guess we haven't done any of those uh, types of problems. So five squared two over square root of three, you rationalize by multiplying the top and bottom. Yeah, by root three. So you get five thirds square root of six is x. Well, that's not the x that we're looking for. That's, that's just this right here. So how do you go to the, how do you go to there? You multiply by root two. Root two. So it's five square root three times the square root of six times the square root of two. And it's five root three, 12. So it's like some crazy number. It's like uh, 10 thirds root two. Uh, yeah, uh, root three, root three. Because 12, square root of 12 is yeah. uh, two root two, three. three. Yeah, so that's that's pretty crazy. And that's, that's uh, but, to, but you should be able to do that. that that's, yeah. that's uh, uh, you know, the numbers are bad, but um, let, let's try it on here. Wow, I keep grabbing this long thing. Um, paste. Get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so now we're going to go the other way. Just copy this picture so we can reuse it a couple more times. Okay, so let's say the hypotenuse over here is the um, square root of 24. And I want you to find um, x and y this time. Okay. 
So, uh, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday. Okay, so that's 24, Friday 21st, 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3, so it's 2 root 6. Okay. And then, so, and then we gotta do 2 root 6 divided by root 2. So it's 2 root 12 over 2, which is really. Uh, so it's 4 root 3 over 2. Four, uh, oh, so that's 2 root 3. Okay. Okay. So we like three or four days, however long ago. And then it can stop, right? Okay. So X is four root three and Y is two is what I got. Yeah. So I, I agree, I agree here. I'll just I'm just gonna follow your work here. Uh, square root of four uh, twenty-four is uh, two square root six. Yeah. And and then you divide by square root you get two square root three on this leg and two square root three on this leg. Yes. So that's your short leg. So you multiply by square root of three here. So it's two square root three times the square root of three, which ends up being six. And then you double it to get four square root three uh, there. Is that, is that what you got? No, I got y is two somehow. So the, uh, the, when you have the short leg, this is the short leg, the long leg, long leg equals the short leg times the square root of three. Okay, I think I did something on there because what I did was I multiplied by both by the two or three times root three and I said two. But well, it's, it's square root of nine. Nine is three. Two times yeah. six. Um, yeah, the, I mean, you have the right numbers there. Let's let's do another one here and uh, and just uh, you know get get this down. So let's do. Let's say that the hypotenuse here is um, square root of sixty, and I want you to find again x and uh, and y, please. Okay. Okay. Square to sixty. Uh -oh. It's two thirty two fifteen. It's two root fifteen. Okay, and then two root fifteen divided by square to two. So we get two root thirty over two. But that's really okay. So it's just three. Good. So now uh, the, that's the short leg. The short leg. Yes. And you want to find the long leg, which is the short leg times the square root of three. Okay. So I'm, I'm guessing it's just. Square root of 90, mm -hmm. and then yeah. reduce that. Reduce that, yeah. 245, 3. Oh, 3 does do that, okay. 315. This should, re oh yeah, because it's 3, 5. So it's 3 root 10 is square root of 90, right? Yep. Okay. And then that means y is just square root of, wait, 2 times square root 30 is square root of 60, right? You're doubling, you're doubling the number on the outside. So it's 2 square root 30. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like having 2 square root 30. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's, uh, let's look at something. All right. Oh, good. Here's a good. Here's a good problem here. Um, we're gonna look at uh, SAT ACT problem. This is um, free response, and that means there's no multiple choice here. Let me make this bigger so you can see what it is. It's it's very much related to what we just did. The top half is a is a 30, 60, 90, and then it's a 45, 45, 90. They tell you the length of RS is eight square root two. 
okay? And they want you to find the, uh, the area of the given quadrilateral. So I'll, I'll help out here. The area is SU times RT, and then you take a half of it. Um, so don't worry about that. Just find ST for me first, please. Okay. And then we'll talk about it the rest of this. Okay, so I think, so SV should be eight. It's half of the hypotenuse. Oh, it's four over two, yeah. So it's four over two. So four over two. And then ST. Times root two. That's right. And what is that? It's four times square root of four, which is two. So it's eight. So it's eight. Okay. Now, uh, because there's symmetry here, this is also eight squared to two, and this is also eight. So eight, yeah. So if I ask for the perimeter, which I don't, it's eight squared to two plus eight plus eight squared to two plus eight. That is sixteen plus sixteen squared to two. Uh huh. But that's you not what it's you, asking for. About the area. Not the area. So we need to find RV. Uh, what is RV? RV is four root six. Four root six. Okay, so our area is four square to six plus four square to two. That's that's diagonal one. Uh -huh. so that's all the way across. And then the other one is four square to two plus this one down here is four square to two. Mm -hmm. So this on the right becomes eight square root two, and it multiplies okay. nicely into this one. Um, you're going to get two terms, but um, when you multiply this first one, it's thirty-two square root twelve plus 32 square root four, this becomes 64. 12 is two square root three, like it's okay to write it underneath. And then that becomes 64 square root three plus 64. How does 32 root four get? Oh, right, yeah, obviously. <laughs> All right. So good job today. Um, we're gonna we're gonna end here. Um, I'll send out the uh, notes and the screen recording uh, shortly. Thanks again for scheduling, and uh, we'll yeah, see you next um, time. I'll schedule for next Sunday, like right now, probably. Great. Sounds good. All right. Thank see you, you, Matt. Bye now.